Here's the water tank under the trailer. As far as I can see, there's just uh, this here. That's the hose. I've cut it off. That's the hose that goes up to the water pump. And then on the other side of the trailers, there's just the one and a half inch hose coming in to fill the tank. And as far as I can tell, there's just this one bracket right here that goes across. A bolt on this side, a bolt on the other side. And then there's a bracket over there, but it looks like the top of the tank just lift, lifts over the top of it. Sets on the top of it, so there's a little lip on the tank, I believe. It sits on the bracket there. So I think I just have to take off this bolt here, and the one on the other side, and this tank should drop down. So here's the driver's side. I've got the one bolt off there. You can see the brackets hanging down a bit. So I've just got this other one here to let go. Up in there, you can see that's the fill pipe. I've cut it off. It was rotten. This other little black pipe here, that's just the breather hose. So I'll cut it. But I think when I undo this bolt here, this one bracket should come off. And the tank should come down. I've got one little jack stand under it there. I'll put one under here for support. I'll move this over for support. And then once this bracket's off, then I can crawl under and... Uh, let her down slowly. Okay, I've got the I've got the bracket off. The mainly the jack over there is supporting it a bit. So I think if I go to the other side, get underneath here, shift this over, hopefully it should just come right down. There is some sort of friction there. Not sure if it's clamped in up there or not. Remove that one. And there, there's your water tank. So I see this water tank, it's got a wedge shape to it. Or the other way, I can, I'll, once I take it out, I'll be able to tell. So it just sits up here in this lip, and then the bracket in here, and that's it. Breather hose, uh, the other hose come in, water in, and the other one over here, the water out. Floor seems pretty good under here, nice and dry. I may pop it off the frame and coat this, but we're not sure yet, and then repaint the frame as well and check it over. Not sure if you can see from the frame there, it's just got a bolt here, a bolt there. I'll have to count them up top. There's probably two, four, probably six or eight bolts holding it in. Plus, I think across here, they've screwed in machine screws. Oh, there's another bolt there. And I think there's screws through on this thin metal as well. But we'll check that out later next month. So here's the tank after it's come out. You'll see down here, this is the, so this is the driver's side, so that's the fill one. There's the breather hose. See the shape of the tank. You see here, it's got the lip on it, so that lip goes on the, that would go on that front bracket. And the other lip there at the bottom goes on that bracket that I removed. And you can just see the shape of the tank there. So it's just sort of narrower here, bigger belly to drain towards there. Nothing too fancy. I'll fill it with water. I see this one has had some repair done on it. Now from what I could see, it didn't appear to leak from here, but uh, again, I'll fill it up. I'm not sure what size that is. That doesn't look, that doesn't look too big. I don't, that's not 25 gallons, I don't think, but uh, I'll have to do my math <laughs> and figure it out. So I've just set the tank up level here on a table. I'm just, and I filled it up with water. That's the fill spout there that's draining right now. Once it's drained, or once that stops spitting out, I'll uh, just take and mark the level. And then I'll let it sit for a day or two and see if there's any leaks anywhere. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can read this, but it says 17 gallons, 77 liters. So that's 17 Canadian gallons. Uh, model number 6317 and I think it's Comix 
Comex components. Yeah, I'm not sure it's got Canadian standards, so this one's made in Canada. I doubt if they make them anymore. I can find something comparable if I find I need a new tank. Okay, here we are underneath. This is the outflow from the Blackwater tank. Again, it's got this little flap around it. I should be able to peel that off. I'm not sure. This is glued here. I don't know if it's got a screw mount up top there or not. I'll have to wait till I rip that off to find out. It would be nice if it did. And as you can see, that just travels out and there's your release valves and whatnot. And just checking this out. They got some little support brackets here, but they're loose. Otherwise though, that's pretty good. This is beat up a bit, but uh, still holding up okay. And the frame here, just a little bit of rust, a little bit of surface rust, no, uh, no big deal. And the nice thing I like is for the propane, they've got an actual metal tube going down. And I noticed at the back, it goes across to both sides with a manifold on each side that has uh, two uh, connection points coming up. So that's kind of nice. As opposed, I think the little trailer just has the, the light 3 8 copper tubing underneath. Whereas this, just at the manifold, like for two or three inches, it goes up into the trailer, the copper pipe. Here's something else. So here's the ground wire they had coming down. But just a flimsy little screw here. So it's kind of strange. I think what I'm going to do is the, uh, the bolts. I'll take one of the bigger bolts, like this one here that goes right down through the body. I'll flip it around the other way. Make sure it's got a good contact down here on trailer frame. I'll grind all this down, put dielectric grease on point the bolt going up the other way so I have something so that'll be my ground point inside the trailer instead of running this wire up through the trailer so I'll just have a metal bolt going up through basically doing the same thing and I think you can see right here these are those sheet metal screws or whatever they are just coming through the trailer floor drilling into this thin metal part uh, I'm not sure how many there are but there'll be a few of them coming through two four six probably ten or twelve I would imagine and just down here so that's my gray water tank not sure what the ratios are it's probably twice the size of my fresh I would assume uh, so there's just gray water coming out and gray coming in there should be should be one around oh I think it's oh Actually, I'm not sure where it is. So it looks like here's that uh, here's the uh, the holes just in behind here for my shower that I took out the other day. So it comes down, hooks up to this, and looks like it just goes into the line here. And this is the line coming out of my gray water tank. So it looks like it just it's just held in there probably by this valve here. This has to be closed or open. I haven't played with it here yet. Uh, and then it just backfills the tank. Then on the other side there's going to be should be a fill coming in from this sink. Now it looks like if I can get these pipes off, these pipes here, this one on this side and probably the one on the other side again this one looks like it's just got the bracket system on it so it's got one nut in there the bracket goes all the way to the other side there's probably one other nut there and then it probably just slips in over on this side here there's another bracket you can I mean, it's kind of hard to see right in behind there i don't know if that one's got nuts in it it looks like it's welded on actually so i would think i'd have to loosen this one here disconnect the uh, the in pipes on it and it should probably drop down just like the uh, freshwater tank did.